Hello guys, it's me again, Hans Vega, and today I'm going to share you a very useful tool for anyone who works as a language interpreter. It doesn't matter if you speak English or Spanish or French or Portuguese. This is a very useful tool that will make your interpretation service to be easier. So the first thing that you want to do is going to voicemeter.com. You will go ahead and download the standard version, which is free. Once you download it and you install it, um, it, it will usually show up here. In case it doesn't show up, just on the search bar, just put voice. And as soon as you put voice, it will pop up automatically. So this one showing in black and red, make sure that you can actually place it right here on the taskbar. So once you have it, the first thing you want to do is, is to configure it. So in order to configure it, you will go first on the left corner, right here on the number one, you will click right there and you will select the WDM and the name of your headset, whatever headset you have connected. I'm using a, a Logitech wireless. The second thing you want to do is going on the right corner on the A1 and select again WDM and the name of whatever headset you're using. Usually this come in green, but you will hear your own echo. So in order to avoid hearing your own echo, you need to unselect the first A on the left side on the first column. It needs to look like this. So this is everything you have to do. Going to number one, going to A1, and then I'm selecting the, the, the letter A. That's the first step. The second step to finishing configuring the voice meter is going right here to sounds on the right uh, bottom corner. And when and you will click the right uh, button on the mouse and then click on sounds. You want that says only sounds. And it will pop up this window and you're going to focus only on play and record only on these two options. So on play, make sure that you select, usually it will be highlighted this one, but make sure that you select voice meter. This is going to be highlighted and click on predetermined and then click on accept. So this way, this is the one that you want to see in green as the main one. Then go again to sounds, right click again, click on sounds, and then this is already set up. So then go to the recording, make sure that on record is selected voice meter, predetermined, and then accept. Once you do that, you're all set. You can start receiving calls from interpretation companies, and this is what, what is going to happen. Let's suppose the call, um, you know, the English speaker is talking. So, sister, she does not like the water. She likes to sit on the beach and read a book. What do your mother and father? So that, that's what is going to happen. Everything is being set in the call. It's going to be typed on the Google Translate. If, if they start speaking Spanish, while well you because right now I have the English option. If they start speaking Spanish, all you, you have to do real quick, just click right here and it will switch to Spanish and click right here again. Entonces, cuando ellos comiencen a hablar en español, Google Translate va a comenzar a escribir todo lo que se está diciendo en español. No es perfecto, a veces comete errores, a veces pone, pone palabras que no son las correctas. Um, so if they switch to speak English, just do it again, click right here and then click on, you know, record. So this way, everything is being said, you, you're getting all the messages and it's going to make your work easier when you're translating. And as I said, it's not a hundred percent perfect. It, it could make mistakes. You could put some words that maybe were not said. It all depends if the person that is speaking speaks clear, either English or Spanish. It could happen if they don't speak, if they don't speak clear, it could make a mistake. So also if they speak very soft, probably it could not get some words. 
But this is how the voice meter works. And this is for people who works as a language interpreter. I know it will make your life easier. If you think this is a great tool, feel free to download it and use it. And whenever you don't want to use it, all you have to do is just close it. Oh, this needs to be open. In order to work, this needs to be all the time open and you need to minimize it. If you don't have it open, it will not work. It will be everything muted. You will not hear anything, not even the calls. So make sure you have it open. And if you're not going to use it, um, let's say you, you just want to watch a video or do other things, but not to work as an interpreter at the moment, just make sure you close it and go here again and deactivate it by going to play and record. Make sure you select here and click on predetermine and accept. So you uh, you will unselect the voice meter. The same here, click right here, predetermine and then accept. So this way the computer will be working as normal. But if you're going to work as an interpreter, you need to do the other configuration I just mentioned. So you can activate it and deactivate it as many times as you want. And feel free to give me a like if you feel that this is a very useful tool for you, um, that you are bilingual and works as a language interpreter. Thank you for watching the video and have a nice day.